Well, testing is underway for a new possible way to get protection from COVID without an injection. Reporter Pat Harvey has a first look at an oral vaccine trial. Blood collection, check. Physical exam, looking good. Blood pressure, stable. COVID swab, completed. And now... I am going to give Mr. Henshaw his second dose of his vaccine. Researchers at the Chan Soon Shang Research Institute in El Segundo are testing whether these capsules might work as well, if not better, than existing COVID vaccines. To have a vaccine that's room temperature that could be a pill is life-changing. This oral vaccine is part of an experimental protocol being tested in healthy volunteers like Matt Henshaw. Headache? No. Can pills alone prevent transmission? Scientists don't yet know, so they're testing four different approaches. Some patients get a jab, some don't. Matthew got one injection and two rounds of pills. Delivering this vaccine in a capsule isn't the only thing that's different. It's being positioned. as a T-cell vaccine. Dr. Patrick Soonshong is one part Lakers owner and one part vaccine mastermind. While existing vaccines help create antibodies to the spike protein on the surface of the virus, Immunity Bio's vaccine targets that globe in the middle a part of the virus less prone to mutations. And the value of doing so uh, is that we generate killer T cells. Immunity Bio's hypothesis is this. By generating killer T cells in addition to antibodies to the spikes. Now you have what we believe is long-term protection. This vaccine, funded in part by Operation Warp Speed, is still experimental, so safety and efficacy have yet to be proven. But Dr. Soon Shang believes there is reason for optimism for lasting protection. We know from previous SARS-CoV-1 in 2003, people that got infected then have T cells that last for 17 years. As for delivering the vaccine orally, it's not just to avoid a needle poke. In fact, Dr. Soon Shang believes a combination of the two could be the key. By giving a jab, you hope to develop T cells all around your body. And by giving it orally, we protect the mucous membranes, the gut, and hopefully the nose, the mouth, because that's how the virus comes in. It doesn't come in through your blood. Now that Matt has completed his vaccine and boosters, he will undergo intensive monitoring for the next 12 months. He hopes his lead will encourage others to consider entering a trial. The virus is mutating, so I hope that we have solutions. That trial is open to healthy adults under 55 who are not pregnant and haven't had COVID.